My name is Farusha Lampokomer. I am a painter, performance artist, curator, and music video director living in New York City. I was originally born in Englewood, New Jersey in 1995. Even before I got into painting and fine arts, back when I was more into drawing and cartooning, my work has always kind of revolved around that uh, theme of what it feels like to be in a marginalized group, what it feels like to be an outsider. And uh, growing up in a very like cookie cutter suburban town in New Jersey, I very much felt that as the weird art kid that was also mixed race and queer, the experience of that. Well, uh, Anchovy is uh, basically started off as a cartoon avatar of mine. I wanted to have a character that kind of represented myself to in my comics so that would break the fourth wall. And then when I got into fine arts, there was a long time where I didn't do anything related to cartooning. I just wanted to get as far away from it as possible and be a real serious artist. And I reached a point where I was just making really depressed, dark work that was all about loneliness and uh, longing and unrequited love. And I hit this wall and I just said to myself, I have to stop doing this. I need to figure out, I need to restart. I need to figure out how to enjoy making work again. And so a big component of that was reintroducing this character into my work, but merging it with the things I was doing now. So instead of being a cartoon character, Anchovy became the subject of my paintings and she also became my alter ego that I would dress up as and perform as. Um, and that kind of, it gave me a doorway into adding humor back into my work and making my work a bit more accessible. And so it was still dark, but it, there was an entry point for people to come in and it wasn't so serious that people left being like, wow, that was heavy, but it welcomed an audience back in. Currently, I am the curator for Art Not Places 2021 Normal. We have an open call going on right now. It's a performance art festival and it happens every year along 14th Street. So the last thing I put together was a curatorial night at Culture Lab LIC in Long Island City. It was a partnership with two other curators and we put together this night of performance art, which was really great. There was a huge crowd. Everybody was socially distanced. For my day job, I'm an office manager at the Children's Aid Society in New York City. I went to School of Visual Arts in here in Manhattan for school. I started out as a cartooning major. It's the reason I wanted to go to the school. Six months into my first year, I realized cartooning might not be the path I wanted to take, and I switched over to fine art because I really fell in love with painting. Favorite contemporary artist would probably be Robin F. Williams. She's a painter, which is based in Brooklyn. She does figure paintings of women, and they're all they're all sexual and non-sexual is how I, how I would describe them. They're all women, usually nude, who are aware that they're being watched. And it's more like the power dynamic between the viewer and the subject switches so that as you're looking at this painting, you feel uncomfortable for staring at this partially clothed woman. It's almost like you're being caught. and the subject is in full control and I just love that aspect of her work. Anytime I see that she's having an opening, I try to make it. I would say my work kind of falls in between reacting to current events and existing in a bubble of its own just because my work stems from such a personal place and me being a young woman that follows in the queer spectrum and is also mixed race. I feel like my work just naturally becomes political. 
I am obsessed with Tina's life. She's this Japanese salary woman that lives in Tokyo and it's just it's just like these ASMR videos of her life and she's cooking and it's fabulous. She hasn't posted anything in five months or been on social media in a while. So I'm kind of concerned for her safety. Tina, if you're alive, like, please let your audience know. Uh, so I have a website, www.anchovyart.com. I'm also most active on Instagram and Facebook. My handle on Instagram is anchovyart, so that's A-N-C-H-O-E-Y art. It's, it was one of those things that it's like, I wanted to experience that community aspect of being in a collective, being in a group of people that are talking to each other and sharing ideas and communicating with each other. And then I also like the idea of like, oh wow, here's a, a group that actually seems like it knows what it's doing and will actually help me be an artist in New York City rather than just taking my money to, <laughs> like I don't have to pay $300 to be in an art show or something. Like it just, it seemed, like the most supportive, viable option that I could make as an independent artist at this time in my life. Just a general PSA, if you keep beta fish, they need a tank size of at least 2.5 gallons, ideally five gallons. Please don't go to Petco and buy a fish bowl for your fish. They will die, thank you.